attunement for um, the grid and the attunement gets locked into the pineal gland of, uh, in the brain and uh, we're using a crystal that's been programmed to the grid and basically um, what you're going to do is you're going to walk along with me in a visualization for this attunement. So I want you to visualize um, placing your hands around this crystal in your mind and then what I want you to do is just kind of close your eyes with that visualization and then what you're going to see is going to look somewhat like a donut in a sense but it will be two spiraling galaxies that will be all around you so you're going to be at the center point of two spiraling galaxies and you're going to envision light that goes below you and light that goes above you and you're right at the center of all of that and what you're going to do is you're going to take that image and then just slowly bring it to where it's smaller and smaller and smaller and collapse that into your pineal gland visualizing the crystal bringing that crystal energy from that grid and all of the programming for the crystal grid and locking that into the pineal gland at the piezoelectric crystals and then you can choose the words by saying I accept to accept that I've highlighted um, the key components to the the grid and how the grid operates um, and uh, I'm also going to be continuing to add programming there will be programs that you can choose to run um, and the programs uh, have all handshake protocols with your higher self so that way you are never accepting anything more than you can handle or never accepting stuff that's not on your path um, so basically uh, when you bring that attunement in it's going to create kind of like an energetic uh, shield in a sense um, all around you and it will help you with a number of things which I can get into that on a different video but um, basically that's the attunement and you bring that into your pineal gland and those piezoelectric crystals and then just using the words accept and um, allow that to just kind of shake out sometimes you'll feel uh, electricity pulses through your body uh, some people have uh, chakra reactions where they feel a little bit stuck I would uh, exercise efforts to work with your energy and move your energy up from your sacral chakra all the way up to the top of your head just try and move that energy um, you can do qigong there's lots of videos for qigong where you can um, help move that energy flow through your body and I will do other videos later about how to um, use that attunement to actually charge your water and that's great to drink and um, it tastes almost electric and uh, yeah I think that's pretty much it for the attunement so um, you know feel free to use this uh, please note that you can turn it on and off as you want you can expand it visually in your mind out um, all around you um, some of the programs I might as well cover them really quickly um, one of them is a quantum quantum net and the net comes from the top of the head and it goes out a ways and it will literally drop down what it does is it's uh, quantum energy that's interwoven very very finely and it goes through the body and the, the whole objective there is to make sure you don't have things attached to you uh, it helps to clear out etheric crystals and uh, other implanted um, items that aren't necessarily physical implants and that uh, to clear out anything that doesn't align with your higher self or your path so you can run that whenever you feel like you need to um, another one is uh, it's uh, quantum armor and what it is is it's like basically the visualization is uh, liquid gold literally all over the body and the whole objective of that particular program is to um, to kind of insulate you from any of the microwave stuff that's been going on uh, there is one for um, quantum shield and what that does is if you have actual um, attacks that can trigger because there is stuff for um, the uh, voice to skull technology and stuff like that the um, the quantum energy basically should help to prevent that so that's kind of one of the programs and um, the other one is uh, what I call it uh, quantum lights or quantites 
and uh, literally it looks like um, small gold spirals. They were charged with um, compassion element, um, which was a, basically shared with me in a passing of one of my relatives, um, ha having a real understanding of what the energy is like. Um, and so they were charged with that energy. And so basically, um, all of those, they look, they're obviously very tiny. It, my, it was my effort to try and have an alternative to the nanite issues that we're having with some of the, the new technology and the um, smart dust and uh, the chemtrail sprays. So the objective of those is using, um, creating through intention, uh, these quantites to basically multiply through the body. Um, they're intelligent, but they're intelligent based out of the compassion and love um, energy and al always, um, always uh, subordinate to your higher self, your um, I am. So basically you will always be in control of that that type of, of um, program. You can turn it on, off whenever you want. And uh, again, none of this stuff can be reverse engineered. It cannot be because of the handshake protocols with the higher self, uh, it can't be circumvented um, in any way. So you can use these programs. They'll be available. As I add more, I will go and um, make those known and make those available to people. They can use those programs whenever they want. And uh, you can also use the grid to from, from your from your attunement to push that energy out to create sacred space for other people and uh, anybody that enters into a grid zone um, will have that information will be there it'll be available at a subconscious level they may or may not choose to use some of that that's okay um, but again it still goes through that handshake protocol on a subconscious level so that they can uh, they may you may see benefits for people that are operating in that in that um, particular vicinity um, there can be imp good impacts to them um, but again they're still the same handshake protocol and lastly um, I can cover crystal down um, the charging effect is actually um, is this so what you can do with yourself is to take this energy to charge up your body creating that same double spiral effect with your hands and what you'll see is you can actually balance out your body. And if you're energy sensitive, um, if you're not, do it anyway. It's good for you. But uh, if you are, then you can really charge up. You'll really notice that you can feel that energy kind of building. And then really try and work that energy up through the top of the head. Now, after you do this, um, you can take your hands and literally put them around water and just really focus on it. You should feel it here, but you, you'll feel a spinning sensation at the head where that attunement was. So what you're looking for is to feel that energy surge right here at your core, and then you'll feel something happening up here. It'll feel like tingling, a uh, spinning sensation, and then just focus on your water. And um, basically what you're doing is you're accepting in, um, what I usually will say over the water is um, I'm projecting the uh, the intentions from the grid into the water, bringing in the zero point energy, I'm bringing in the no time grid, and um, in that attunement process, you can also do that as well, where you're bringing in that no time grid. And it's a no time grid, it's basically set up for zero point where there's no time, and you're basically operating in that sacred space, and uh, doing a lot of work with sacred space. You feel like there's not time, it's, everything feels very strange and different. Uh, You'll also notice uh, what can happen after you attunement. You may notice that your temperature becomes more balanced and uh, that you may not be um, having quite the emotional upheavals. The mind chatter tends to die back, and um, but your energy will go up. So try and use that, move that energy, and um, you can definitely put that onto the water and try that. Taste your water and uh, let me know how that, how that tastes for you. Um, it will the more you do it it's almost like it just keeps charging you more and more and more so you can get your whole body going with this um, you can try laying down while you're moving the energy and really focus that energy I was able to get all the hair on my arms to stand up when I did that attunement um, so basically have fun with this um, it's really just designed to create a safe space for you to do your own inner work and uh, to try and help protect you from some of the um, some of the technology that's going right now. I mean, uh, 
We have a lot of uh, frequencies running and um, I would encourage people to use binaural beats to do subconscious clearing. Um, to start, now that you should be more insulated from some of this external stuff, that's when you gotta get to work on working with yourself and uh, trying to improve. All the work that you do inside a grid will share that back into the grid and convert that energy into healthy energy. And then that is a community model which is then shared um, with everyone else. So there is an acceptance there of taking that grid into understanding it's a community model and um, that you're, you're accepting the willingness to help one another and yourself. So that's the concept. I hope that that's great for you and that it works for you. Thanks.